Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard episode 116. It is a bit of a special start because we are joined by a couple people in Discord. Like JN, Captain, and of course, Flame. And he's actually got something really funny to tell everyone. So, Flame, what did you want to say? He let, he let me down. You let I me down. You said 110. Terrible. He's already let me down. Alright. You said 116. I did not say 316. I definitely no, said, you said, you said 100. Oh you said my. 100. Why can I never get the episode number right? <laughs> this is episode 216. And uh, yeah, we're all gathered here in Discord to do King of the Ring. As you guys know, I made it to the final guaranteed SummerSlam 17 card. Obviously. Um, I knew I was going to get demolished by Swag Daddy in the final, that's exactly what we did. Uh, that's exactly what happened, and it is time to claim our rewards. So we're going to be getting one SummerSlam 17 card, that is it. Uh, Discord, what do you, what's what's your prediction? Like, Jay, and I'll start with you, who do you think I'm going to get? Goldus. Alright, Captain. Dean Ambrose. Flame. I don't know, but today Matt tried to peer pressure me and I'm... <laughs> Who do you think I'm gonna get a flame? Um Rhino because you don't deserve anything. Rhino, Rhino would be a pro dude. Yeah, Rhino or Alright, I'll take it. I'll take a Rhino. So we've got Gold Dust, Dean Ambrose, and Rhino. I'd actually prefer Rhino if I could choose, because that would be a pro, but we're looking for a pro female, pro Finn Balor, or a pro John Cena. <sighs> Three. I'm gonna close my eyes real quick. Let you guys see who it is first, and then I I'll see it. and I'll I'll see who it is myself. Not you guys in Discord. I meant the viewers. Oh. Three, two, oh. one. No. Oh. All right. It's done. It's done. I've clicked on it. I can't see. Okay. Now, right now. Okay. If you guys are watching this video, go in the chat right now. Let me know what you think my reaction is gonna be. Oh, delightful! Oh, man. <laughs> delightful! <laughs> that is such a sick card. I am so happy. No, I'll definitely game. take that. I'll definitely take that. Yay! Sick, sick, sick! Another card to add to the collection, guys. Matt Hardy, not broken, Matt. Unfortunately, Matt Hardy. And it's not a pro. And it's not a pro. But it's a pretty damn good card. I'll definitely take a Matt Hardy. And, uh, yeah, King of the Ring. King of the Rings have been going pretty well. Uh, last, yeah, my last three King of the Rings, I've won two of them and got, well, quarter bump. But been doing okay. Been doing okay. Jack Gallagher has a pro, so we'll sandbag him in our next King of the Ring. And, uh, and everything will be delightful. Thank you guys so much for watching the first part of this video. I will be back probably tomorrow. Uh, we're hopefully getting another pull, but we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in a bit. Yo, guys. Welcome back to the episode. And we're going to start it off with a little bit of ring domination. And uh, well, actually, we're literally just going to do ring domination. Once we get Naya, we're just going to go into some ranked. We'll talk a little bit about Raw and SmackDown. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but we'll see if we can maybe force our pull. So, um, there is something I wanted to talk to you guys about, and this is quite important. Now, am I 100% sure about what I'm saying? No. So, you know, maybe you you know, you know, will be like, oh, no, this is not confirmed. So, to what I know, a lot of people have discovered this, and it is actually a thing now. You know, JB, I'm pretty sure uh, I've released a video about it, and uh, lots of people in the community, obviously, uh, you know, talk, and I've gathered that it is now a thing it's so if you're in if you're in SummerSlam 17 plus plus now I have no idea about other tiers but if you're in plus plus I'm not sure if it works if you're in plus but on ring in ring domination every card will basically you have 36 shards in a card and uh, I was just I you know I've been counting my pulls since uh, SummerSlam 17 tiers come out and I would just be one shard, well, one reset, you know, uh, to my pool. But no, apparently one shard is now two resets. So instead of it being 36 shards, and you'll be like, I'll just finish, this, I'll just finish the card and add 36. Add 72, because it's 72, you know, two times 36. Uh, yeah, 72. So 
basically every shard equals like two resets. If you'd go on wild mode and you'd get a rare, I don't know, big show, and then you'd come back and you'd get like a, I don't know, epic enhancement, they, that would be two resets. But if you get one shard in ring domination, you can just add two resets. Talking about shards, let's see if we can get one there. We actually lost our game, which isn't very good, so we'll definitely have to play a couple more games before we can even finish off this Nia Jax. Um, I'm actually literally just, yeah, I'll do that and I'll just buy maybe maybe one or two title matches just so we can finish it off quite quickly and uh, then we'll go into ranked. But yeah, guys, you know, um, I'm pretty sure that is it. Not sure, as I said, not sure if it's just in SummerSlam 17 plus plus or if it's in all plus plus. Um, so yeah, just try it yourselves, guys. Basically, what you want to do is when you finish a card in ring domination, you go straight into ranked or wild mode. And you play a little bit. It's happened to me now like twice, uh, three times I think actually. And um, it was like kind of like the first pull. But sometimes, and a couple of people have told me, you, it's maybe after a couple of resets. Maybe if it's, you don't get it on your first go, try maybe one or two more and you might get it then. But normally you should get it straight away. And that, that's like forcing your pull. Get the card in ring domination. As soon as you do, don't get another shard on the other card. And then you go to uh, ranked or wild, and then you just play until you get your pull. And then if it's like a super rare enhancement, well, you get really disappointed. And if if it is, I don't know, a SummerSlam Charlotte, which is what happened to me, then you get really excited. Um, so we got one shot there. Let's see if we can get. We'll definitely get another one. Probably have to play one more game. Uh, and we got a title map that's pretty handy just for the next game. And where is it? No, we didn't get it. Okay, so one more match, one more game, and uh, and we'll finish Nia Jax. That we'll keep obviously looking for a pro so we can uh, do it in the catalogue. You guys know more about the catalogue. Three shards left on Nia. Let's do it. And uh, what day are we today? It's like Sunday, and I uh, I'm going to go all the way back to talk about like Raw and SmackDown. Now my memory is really bad, so I'm not sure if I've uh, actually mentioned anything about Raw and SmackDown in my last couple videos or the last couple streams. If you've heard what I've had to say about this, then I'm sorry to repeat myself. But I honestly thought both shows were really decent. I enjoyed a lot of stuff on Raw. I enjoyed a lot of stuff on SmackDown. More like one or two big moments on SmackDown. I was like, that's why you know that's that's what really got me to really love SmackDown this week. But I'd say overall, both shows were pretty solid, and it's been pretty solid for uh, for a while now. You know. Um, the Vince McMahon, Kevin Owens, sorry, Mr. McMahon, Kevin Owens, um, that was great, I really enjoyed that, thoroughly enjoyed that, and it's pretty cool, you know, you know, he, he, he took a brutal headbutt, um, so yeah, I'm not gonna really, yeah, let's just go, let's just, uh, go through this, we're gonna get Nia here though, so that's why I wanted to stop talking about it, but there we go, there is Nia Jax, a hardened card, wow, I don't, I know no one cares, but, the whole point is, uh, is it's not this? No one cares about this part. After we're gonna, hopefully, hopefully we don't get a shard here. That would ruin everything. I'm not sure if it does ruin everything. Maybe it's just a myth. But who knows? I for, for once I don't want to get a shard. Good. It hasn't given it to me. Um, and yeah, let's uh, let's quickly move on now to uh, to ranked mode and let's talk a little bit more about raw. So. Uh, mainly the John Cena, Roman Reigns, uh, Enzo More, Miz segments, both again recently, especially starting off with this kind of John Cena, Roman Reigns feud. They've they've been they've been you know kind of breaking the fourth wall and um, you know getting into actual real real shit and uh, and it's 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 quite entertaining. I, I'm I'm a big fan of that because. I watch lots of videos. I do a lot of research. You know, I'm, I'm very. I know what happens if you want to say the rumors of what happens in WWE. So all those jokes, all those things. I'm like, oh my god, that's brilliant. They brought that up, and uh, and I think it's a really cool kind of way to like capture, captivate your viewers because I don't know. It's just bringing real life stuff into it, and it kind of makes it more entertaining. If you know what I mean. So that was cool. I enjoy it. Um, so. But we've been getting it for a while now with Roman Reigns Cena. This week, I, I really loved it, actually. I really do. I know lots of people are saying, oh, it's getting repetitive. Just, but it was it was hilarious. It was absolutely... It was great. John Cena destroyed Roman uh, with, the, with, the, with the whole drugs thing at the end. It was just... It was, it was actually... I, I really, really popped for it. I thought it was hilarious. And then Miz, Miz Enzo More... Again, it was a very entertaining segment for me. It was a bit out of nowhere. I was like, okay, 
have they been in a few what's going straight into it, you know, but it was an enjoyable segment and there we go guys. We've uh there it is, we get it straight away and it's a summer slam uh, so not summer slam, it's a super rare <laughs> hold on there. It's a super it was a super rare Paul Heyman. So uh it doesn't look like we will uh we'll get a pull. Doesn't look like we uh we forced our pull there, but you never know. Let's just play, let's just finish off these two ranked games here. Um, but look, my luck's been pretty, pretty decent. Honestly, you guys will see the first part of this video where I got Matt Hardy. That was last night for me, but um, that was, honestly, I'm really happy with that. Really, really happy. It's his, uh, you know, apart from the event card, that's like his debut card. So that's cool. Another picture for the event card, and it's just a, a card I'm not used to getting. So it was a really cool thing to get. He's quite high up there in the tier, so... Great, and then you add the three females in like I've counted. It was it was it was actually three days. It might have been a little bit less than three days actually. So, um, yeah, that was just great. Getting Kevin Owens from background was cool. Jack Geller has a pro uh, in RTG. My luck's been good, so I'm not gonna push it. And uh, but Supercar's been going very well, and I hope to uh, to get Jack pro as quick as possible. I have just re-entered in a King of the Ring. So I'd, I probably won't play another game because someone's just called me, and uh, I know what that means. I know, uh, I know that it is time for me to leave. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, guys, I might, I, I'm not sure if I'll be streaming tonight. I, we'll see. We'll see. If it is, it won't, it won't be for long, and we'll just just grind a bit of uh, of ring dom, maybe see if we can force our port on stream. But I won't guarantee anything. I'm sorry that I said I was going to stream yesterday and end up I didn't. Uh, but yeah. We are pretty much done on, well, pretty much done. We're about three quarters of the way done on charges. King of the Rings going okay. I'm four and one. Our next game is starting soon against someone who's like zero and five. Uh, Jesus, JS9, he has a really good deck actually, very similar to mine. And that's probably going to be, that's probably going to be uh, the biggest competition is King of the Ring. Who knows, maybe we can make two King of the Rings back-to-back -back finals. Uh, that'd be great, but I'm not holding my breath. But, you know, Jack Gallagher uh, will be sandbag for next King of the Rings, so that'll give me a little edge. And, uh, yeah, guys, Battleground, we've actually matched up against a huge, huge team, Zero Dimes. You guys might recognise this uh, team name and them having Enzo Mori because they are on the leaderboards, and they are just, they're, they're, they're not just any team. They are number, as soon as the leaderboard wants to come up for me. They are number 10 in uh, in Supercard for Battleground. So it's going to be a very, very interesting Battleground. This might very well be our first loss since SummerSlam 17. Uh, Tears come out and we've been doing Battleground. So this might very well be our our first loss. Uh, I've told the team, everyone to charge, to, to charge up. Pretty sure we will be okay on that. It's just looking at the, our different decks. It seems like they've got a slight advantage on us. We've it's going to be close, actually, because our best player is better than their best player, but 980, um, I got the worst deck, by the way, and uh, it's 83, and obviously their worst 87. Sorry if you're going to hear a phone in the background in Moscow. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do drop it a like if you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought yourselves about all those um, like really cool segments that's been going on, actually. Uh, in uh, in on both Raw and SmackDown, I know I missed a couple segments that I should have mentioned, but uh, yeah, let's go. Do drop a like, leave a comment of anything you have to say. Let me know how you're getting on, how you got on Ring Dom, how you're doing in uh in just you know backgrounds and stuff. And I'll see you guys tomorrow or maybe tonight for a little stream. So then, take care and peace out.